subscribe. From this video, bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Just Phil Gaming. It's me, Just Phil, and today I'm going to give you five tips to help you get ahead in Disney Sorcerer's Arena, part one. Yes, there will be more videos, so please stay tuned to this video and many more as we progress on this game. So let's face it, this game is a bit too violent for many that grew up on watching the many movies and cartoons and series back in the day when Disney was like awesome. However, Disney decided to do this game the way Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is played. But if you are an avid everyday player, these are five tips to help you get ahead in Disney Sorcerer's Arena. So, here we are opening the box to help us get into the game. And this part does take a while, and yes, that's me. I am Salty Wrestler. Very salty. Don't eat me because I'm salty. You'll get high blood pressure. Don't do that. Not cool. It really isn't. Let's turn this up a little bit. Turn you up a little bit. Uh, this thing sometimes doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. There. Now, let's tap to unlock the magic. So first thing first that you want to do is to complete into getting ahead on this game, of course, is by completing the daily quest. And you see here, this opens up daily prizes that we get from this game. So you may want to get it because you get coins. There we go. And we got it. Now next, here are the daily quests underneath the fat bear I'm not too sure what, what's the name I keep forgetting it's been a while since I watched Toy Story but anyway click the daily quest here we go and these are all of the daily quests we gotta do in order to complete the game so the daily quests are there to help you complete many of the mini games that this game has not only that but to help you earn character tokens potions gold and gear among others for the development of your characters but once you complete the entire quest, you get bonus times or bonus tokens like or basically rewards like Darkwing Duck, Diamonds, Coins, Gold, and of course experience points. And yeah, all you gotta do is click on each and every one of these things to help you collect. So I got this one here. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power up. Let's check it out and see how that does. It's um boost up buzz automatic score already um let's see who else uh it's boost up who's the one with the gear oh this is boost up elastigirl she boost her up with her uh gears there we go we got it equip her and that's it, you completed a couple of tasks already. So this is one way to help you get ahead on this game. So by completing these daily tasks, it will help you with your development of your characters and progressing in the game. Now, okay, number two, concentrate on leveling up 10 different characters. Okay, so here I have already, you know, I do have like what, maybe 20 characters. And of course I'm on my way to unlock the others. You will need to level five heroes and five villains of your choice since they are used in the camping mode of this game. There are four types. There are the Grand Champion. I will get to that right now. Go down to go down to battle down here. And these are the four types. You got the Grand Champion. You got the Heroes Campaign. Villains Campaign and the PvP Arena. For the Grand Champion and PvP Arena, you use the combination of any heroes or villains for these types of battles as you progress into the different levels that I, as I'll show you here. And as for the heroes and villains campaigns, for the heroes campaign, I believe you will need your heroes to help you progress. And as for your villains, well, of course, you use your villains. 
if you focus too much on unlocking too many characters, you're going to end up being too weak, therefore, not to be able to move forward in the campaigns, and yes, they get hard, harder and tougher in like any type of other game. Here, you can collect gears, system character tokens, gold, potions, etc. So, in order to help you progress in these things, concentrate on your top 10 characters that you want to use. Five villains of five heroes. And those are the ones that you want to use to help you progress in these games. Because, you know, if you ask me, a lot of them have the same type of powers. Alright. And once you're done doubling them up, then you can actually just concentrate on the others. And there you go. And of course, alright, pass holder. Let's click the teddy bear thing, Jiggy. With this pass holder here, you can earn a bunch of these perks to help you with your character development. As you can see here, you earn diamonds, potions, coins, energy, and other perks to help you with the exchange and gain more gears and characters and so forth. And you have to pay for this pass holder I think. I think it costs like maybe $1.99 or it's a $4.99. You just gotta go to the store and check it out. Go to the store and you can find it here somewhere. Well, you'll find it here somewhere, basically. Alright. Yeah, if you buy something from here, it will help you with your daily quest as well. So be sure to, I mean, if you want to get do that, it will help you with the development of your characters. Now, number four, the Tower of Endurance. Yes, I said to concentrate on 10 characters for your campaign, and the same can be said here. But you should save them until the very end. You must climb a you must climb a mountain battling other characters and for each turn they get stronger and more powerful. You should start the Tower of Endurance with your weak characters, saving your stronger ones for the top tiers. Here is the process of elimination. Once your character is out, he can't or she can't come back in. But when you defeat characters on the other side, they can't come back in during their that tier either. You do win certain items at the top of the mountain and when you on the mountain when you open a chest. That is where I earned the Headless Horseman spell. It's a very spell, it's a very powerful spell to have in your arsenal. So if I were you, I'd try it out. And last but not least, events. It is important to do the events and yes, you will need certain characters for those events too, depending on the theme of the event. All right, so, for example, the Lion King, you will need Rafiki, Simba, Car and Simba, and these characters to proceed in the events. Same thing if it was Toy Story, if it was a Toy Story themed event. You will need Buzz and Witty. Here are, here is where you can earn and unlock special tokens exclusive only in these events, where you can't find them anywhere else on the game. It is a good idea to do these events as they come along. These are just some of the tips that I think you should start out with, and yes, there are more, so I will need to give you these tips in later videos. So stay tuned by subscribing to Just Feel Gaming and to hit that bell icon to learn more when these videos are uploaded. Until then, gamers, this is Just Feel. Adios. Please subscribe from this video. Bye-bye.